Okay. Okay, we're back. Um, <clears throat> from lunch. Now, um, the word, just thinking, analyzing the word capitalism. Capitalism, of course, from the word capital. Those uh, favors those that have capital, which is the money. Now, since nothing in reality ever trickles down, it's amazing how the flag-waving uh, teabaggers have this uh, different uh, idea about what capitalism really is and how they demonize socialism, which, which they are partaking in every day because there are so many programs that are taken for granted, so many services that are taken for granted provided by the government that are in fact part of socialism. So they either cannot see the reality of their their beliefs or perceptions or incapable of it but basically they have been lied to just like I was. Their history books were full of partial truths and lies just like mine was. And uh, the propaganda, the, uh, the media lies, is lying now about Hillary. Um, they do, with Bernie Sanders, they just don't really mention Bernie Sanders. Rarely do they mention Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, They don't mention all the uh, the new people in the spotlight that have decided to endorse Bernie Sanders, which is every week. Hmm. There's just more and more people. Respectable Robert Reich. Reich. Reich endorsed him recently. Does the mainstream media ever mention that? No. Uh, just to name a few. I mean, many people feel the burn. Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke. It goes on and on. It just goes on and on and on. Um, I think Elizabeth Warren came, went public. It took her a while. She went public with a Bernie Sanders endorsement. Mm -hmm. I think she would make an outstanding vice presidential running mate for Bernie because she is the closest person to Bernie. I mean, being on the same page. <laughs> Policy wise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and she's a highly <laughs> intelligent I mean she she was a professor at Harvard. She taught law at Harvard University when she was younger. Well they certainly don't respect uh, Barack Obama for being a constitutional lawyer. Well you can you can be you can have intelligence and you could still take the old bribe. But they say he doesn't know anything about the Constitution. Oh, the Republicans. Yes. Well, well who do you think I'm what, talking about? What about them? What uh, you know? They don't. They claim to be real Christians. They don't know anything about the Bible. Yeah. Or the or some parts of the Constitution. Yeah. Church and state. And even if they know about it, you heard what Mitch McConnell said. He ain't getting nobody it past me. No, he That's just wants to. He just wants to obstruct, obstruct, That's obstruct. That's right. Power. Power. He. I got the power. They. They didn't go. Mr. Uh, nigger man. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's all about racism. Because otherwise, they would have done the same thing to every other Democratic president. Would have done it to Reagan. <laughs> right. Reagan had the Clinton <coughs> in his last year. Didn't Clinton? 1968. <coughs> didn't Clinton? Didn't Clinton have to deal with a a Republican-controlled uh, Congress at one time? One of his. Uh, yeah. After he was in there, he he was had Democrats in there in the first couple of years or whatever, just like the Obama. See, I didn't. I didn't realize. 1996, that. Mr. Nudy was. Uh, 1994, they, then the Republicans got in with the contract on America. 
Remember the contract on America? It was a contract on America, believe me. Now, Black hand. now very interesting. First two years of Bill Clinton, total Democratic control. First two years of Barack Obama, total Democratic total. control. And a lot of things could have been done in those first two years, but were not done. Interesting. Well, think yeah, about that. I don't folks. know if it was the first, you know, first couple of years. It had to be. Uh, they had to have uh, ability to get something through because Clinton raised taxes to thirty-nine point five percent. Oh, whoop de do from thirty-five. Big deal. Well, yeah, but he got <coughs> it through. But, That's my point. But they could have, both presidents could have gotten a universal single payer uh, health care reform. Well, Hillary tried to get, but it wasn't universal. I don't know if she, that's what she's saying today, that it was. It was not. She's trying to call yeah. her version yeah. universal. Right. It was not. No, she wants to keep everything privatized. She wants students to pay off their student loans. Yeah. She, she doesn't believe that uh, college should be free. She doesn't no. really believe in a, in, in a living wage, you know, uh, you know the national... Uh, I, I know, she flip-flops so much. Na a national... She has to move to the left, you know, to counter Bur 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 Bernie. That's it. She's okay. not to the left. She's not to the left at all. Yeah. All right, She's let's see. centrist. And part with right wing parts, you know. Yeah, she's she's a moderate. She's a moderate with some parts being very right wing. <laughs> all in all, she it's like saying Hillary, in reality, is a moderate Republican uh, 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 under the disguise of, of being a Democrat. <clears throat> the news media ask. How and why Donald Trump is winning? Well, the simple reason is that people are totally fed up with how the country is being run. They are fed up with our foreign policy, with being politically correct, with out-of-control immigration, and with the self-serving House and Senate. And they are totally fed up with being outsiders to our government insiders. So now you know why Trump is winning. I could feel, I could understand their frustration. I'm just one of the so many educated people who know the truth about our government. And really? we've just about had enough. Well, I, I, you know what? I agree up until, up until the part with the, with the racism, Trump's racism. I agree with the other stuff. Oh, by the way, Mexico told Trump more or less to go fuck himself about paying for the wall. Number one, <laughs> the wall is a fantasy. Oh, and it's going to be a wonderful wall. The wall is it. like uh, the, the, the land to cover with the wall is somewhere over 2,000 miles. Now, there are 600 and some miles already with the wall. But what happens is the land, part of it's in the Rio Grande, part of it's on private property. Boom, boom, boom. Do you know what it would take to eminent domain all of that shit so you could build a fucking wall? Ain't gonna happen. I don't care who pays for it. It's just it, it's and it's, it would cost ten billion. So it's a campaign pipe dream. Exactly. On the part of Donald Trump. Yeah. To cater to the immigration haters. You know what I mean? Yeah, the people that that you know? that yeah. think the problem is the the brown skinned people uh, coming uh, into into their country. Yeah. Can anyone explain how a person who criticizes a war hero like John McCain, who was not wanted by perhaps our closest ally, Great Britain? and who has had other foreign leaders say they are frightened by his candidacy, actually has the support to become president of the greatest country in the world. Well, John McCain is not a war hero. I'm sorry. Being captured is not a war hero. In addition, he wants to bar people from certain nations from this land. 
Had this been the case a hundred years ago, the vast majority of our citizens would not even be here. Why, in the name of decency, would anyone possibly support this individual? Is it because he wishes to fight the establishment? There are a thousand ways to better fight the establishment than to put this man in office. Just think how a man with common sense might have answered the Pope. He could have said that Pope Francis has a right to his opinion and I to mine. But instead, he chose to call the head of the largest churches in the, in the world a disgrace. Well, if have, there is yeah. a disgrace, yeah. it is Donald Trump and his audacity to think he should ever be our president. Well, having empathy and compassion for the poor is not a disgrace. It's an it's an honor for no, for somebody who's re, who's a religious leader. The Pope to, said that Trump was not a Christian for wanting to build walls between people. Well, Trump nothing also to do with that. Trump also wants to to increase <laughs> tax cuts to the rich. That no sound, kidding. That doesn't that. sound like a Christian either. Jeez. Where would you ever find a Republican who was not on board with that? They, they. I don't even. I don't even think that, that the words trickle down is in their mind when they do that. I think they just do it because. It is to fool you. I think. I, well, they do it because they're one of them. If they're one of the rich, yeah. then. But they fool you with the trickle down theory, don't they? They've done it for how many years? If you just work hard and do the right thing, for you who? can succeed in America. Where's the jobs? For okay. who? For who do I work? Oh, that's another thing. If you work for someone else, you are making them rich, not yourself. And and and, uh, and what if you're lucky enough? to find a full-time job that's still in the United States and you're lucky enough to get hired how do you how do you know that working hard especially these days is going to allow you to climb a ladder you don't of success you don't have a pension you don't have your job security for 30 years like you used to at GM and places like that. Unions gave you all those That's uh, correct. all those benefits and labor laws and and um, uh, uh, safety on the job, you know, safety protection, you know, uh, uh, all the good all the good things that help workers came from unions. Yeah. So where is this? If you work hard, you're gonna you're gonna uh, uh, amount to something. You're gonna, you're gonna experience this fantasy called the American dream it's not gonna happen the rich experience that they're the ones who stole it from you yeah what do you think happened in 2007 2008 with the meltdown the financial meltdown yeah but many people lost their houses <clears throat> but you know the tea baggers <clears throat> they don't Pay attention to all these facts. They they, right. they they have a word for us now. They call us libtards. 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 Yeah, libtards. Libtards with no liberal with, retards. With no comeback. They have no. They have no uh, uh, truth. Uh, uh, re truthful rebuttal. They have no evidence when they uh, no, uh, oh, in their it? comeback. It's only a libtard. Oh, you're one of those libtards. Now wait a minute. Didn't you just say that that you, what you're supposed to do? When you can't teach somebody else, you ridicule them. Well, that's what they're doing. Yeah, but they're, the they, they never they never attempt to teach because they don't have any facts to back up their feelings. Yeah, but they're I when they say something, that's that they believe that's their facts, uh, and that you should you should uh, obey those. Because I because they said so. Because they said so. Yeah. That's correct. Like in other words, their their ideas about religion. That's correct. And if you don't, you are immoral. You are a baby killer, a secular human. Oh, but they're maybe not, an atheist. But they're not immoral. Okay. Their their corruption is not immoral. 
Well, at one time, the, the Roman Catholic Church, uh, everybody was a heretic. And uh, The true church of God. They killed them for being heretics. And um, what the hell is that guy's name, the Texas pastor, John uh, uh, Hagee? He, he, he wanted to um, end all food stamps and just let the poor die. Well, let them starve to death. Uh, what a an, wonderful Christian. There's an evangelical Christian for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but his perception of what being a Christian is about, it's, his, it's in his mind that, you know, uh, I, mean, I mean, the Bible t tells you to help the poor and not to expect anything in return. Payback. And those who have the, uh, the wealth of this world have a big responsibility. Okay? Well, it's not their resources on the on the planet Earth. It's it's, no, it's it supposed isn't. to be all of our resources. That's correct. Okay. And in the millennium, every man will be given his own land. <gasps> Is that socialism? A little similar to Norway, uh, giving everybody 800 euros uh, per month. Well, also during I think it was after the Civil War or during during the Civil War, or whenever whenever they wanted to, the United States wanted to occupy the Western territories, we gave uh, 160 acres I think it was for free, as long as you went there and farmed it or whatever for five years after that it was yours free land well it was really um, well it belonged to to nature the great spirit you know when they well, went west to it, all of us yeah it belonged to the well, country well, that's how the native americans yeah. feel it, it belong nobody really has a right to own the earth it, it, it belongs to god the great spirit and and you're supposed to respect it and uh, and uh, and um, uh, take what you need from it. It's only the white man, for the uh, from uh, the European settlers, that felt that they should the possess it. The piece of paper for private property. Possess it. It's mine. Okay. And you can't have any. Like William Penn said, you see, as far as the eye can see. That is my land, oh, Pennsylvania. Really? Oh, really? That is correct. So he was an asshole. Will the Indians had... shook their heads. They didn't understand that stuff. So he had okay. uh, he had uh, the asshole was the state was named after an asshole. William Penn. Lovely. That is correct. It's time for the. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I believe it was Donald Trump. Now I'm not sure that was embraced the other day by Pat Robertson. Yeah. Was right. that him? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Pat Robertson. Oh, that's a great endorsement. <laughs> that's a great endorsement. That's yeah. a great Christian, too. In quotes. Yeah, he, um, he, um, you know who uh, Ted Cruz's father reminds me of? He's got that same puffy face. The guy, the guy that does the eHarmony commercials, he's got that same dopey, puffy, old geezer face. You know that. Almost, he almost looks like a pedophile himself. Hey, ooh. It's time for the candidates challenging Donald Trump to realize that he will continue to win delegates, and by March the second, no one will doubt that he will be the nominee. Donald Trump feels, because of his massive ego, that he's going to steamroll over just or over everybody. You know, it's like he's a bit of a narcissist, I guess, right? His mother used to treat him as a king. What do you expect? Well, I wonder if he had his own crown. I'm surprised he didn't have a crown made up now. I Maybe he, he does have one in his closet. Yeah, well, it has to go with his, his lovely hair. You know. you know, he didn't have hair like that once upon a time. No, it was... It was and it was dark. It, it was, was black. It was like his son's. It was a, 
like a medium brown. It was normal. He had a normal, yeah, normal haircut. haircut. Yes. I wonder what possessed him to go with this wacky looking and the dye job. A stupid orangey dye job yeah. and this and this ridiculous style. Possibly the most amazing thing is the support he's gotten from the Hispanics. Hispanics who are US citizens obey our laws, respect those who advocate obeying them, they are hard working, and want a president whose policies will provide jobs, not one who promises free stuff. Well, Cubans usually uh, like Republicans for some reason. Uh, they love them down in Miami. They love them because they want to invade Cuba. Because they have Take a it back. they have this hatred for, for, the, for the Castros. Yes, they do. The Castros. Our present congressmen and senators yeah. don't respect our laws because they have allowed immigrants to enter our country illegally. It's time to vote in Trump and vote out those who have created the governance that hasn't enforced our immigration laws for more than 30 years. Well, I've heard um, um, Cubans and Puerto Ricans voice their opinion about other Hispanics coming into the United States and their... Uh, well, Cubans don't want to be associated with other Hispanics. Like, if you're from the Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, you are looked down upon. Well, uh, aren't, I, mean, I could be mistaken, but I thought I understood that Puerto Ricans were actually Jamaicans. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, no Puerto Rico is, Puerto Rico is a separate island. That, uh -huh. was a, that was a Spanish colony. But they're not Spanish. They're, they're, they're mixed. They're, they're mm. Hispanic. They're, they're, they're a mixture of the, uh, the Spanish uh, settlers, the n native Caribbean I Indians, See? And, the, and sometimes the black slaves. The uh, Dominican Republic is, uh, has a higher concentration of the black, the, the black slaves that were brought to the Caribbean. Do they eat jerk chicken? Now you're you're talking about you're talking about Jamaica, the uh, the uh, Virg <laughs> Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Trinidad. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. they have a more of a Creole type of uh, food. Huh? They 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 have similarities. Um, <clears throat> like you know, they they there there were British colonies like 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 um, yeah, well, Belize. Belize is in South America, but Belize they speak uh, English. Yeah, well, that's where the old uh, United Fruit and it said the big you know colonies from Britain. Yeah, the British that's colonies. Where they were in the, in the West Indies here and all over. Like here, like yeah. like. Uh, um, Aruba, yeah. Curacao, and Bonaire are called the Netherlands Antilles. They were a comp. Your Antilles has nothing to do with your Antilles if you had one. No, they were colonies of uh, the Netherlands. That's all. And once upon a time, the Portuguese were in Brazil. Brazil. Sweden once upon a time was a big deal. A big deal, army, etc. Sweden. Little Sweden. I think there's like four million people in Sweden only. Den uh, Denmark uh, uh, owned uh, Iceland and Greenland uh, uh, at one time. There you, go, there you, go. you know that's why I always call Iceland a a the other Scandinavian country because they were the, from the yeah, the well, Danes. Yeah. They were. Uh, I forgot to name that one before. Yeah, but I'm talking Part about of socialism thingy. I'm talking you know? about the colonies. The yeah. colonies were usually shared between uh, England, uh, uh, Portugal, uh, France. Mm -hmm. The biggies. Once upon a time. Spain. Spain. Yeah, yeah. So they had different areas. That's why the people look and speak the way they did. Now the his the first Hispanic actually took place uh, between the conquistadors, you know, Cortez and the the Aztecs of Mexico. The Aztecs were attacking the Spaniards and kicking the crap out of them, so they 
they try to make peace with the Aztecs and uh, they told the men to uh, to finagle to date the uh, Aztec women and impregnate them uh, just to keep the peace and that was the very first Hispanic mixture between Indian uh -huh. and, and Spaniard. Politics is a dirty business. Damn right. We all know this. But this primary election deeply disturbs me. Division and intolerance, sadly, have become part of the political dialogue. When the front runner of the Republican Party desires to punch out a protester and continues to gain in popularity because of such a statement, it is time to start looking toward inward, excuse me, as a nation. What is this, Trump? Or Trump, he said Christie? that. He wants to punch, wanted oh. to punch out a protester. The pro, was the protester... We don't know what he was doing. We don't know the evidence. We don't know the facts. But sometimes, we know his sometimes That's it. people, uh, once in a while, people deserve to get a knuckle sandwich. Not always. All right, go ahead. Continue. But the President of the United States, or he who wants to become one, should not be talking like that. Uppercut. No, it doesn't sound cool Thank you. for a presidential candidate to say, Hey, you over there. I like to punch him in his face. I'll punch you out. I'll knock your block off. Like oh. a rock'em sock'em robot. <laughs> Equally appalling are Donald Trump's xenophobic and racist state. Oh, he never liked the show Xena, Warrior Princess? Our leaders act as role models. We look, we look to them to inspire us by example to do the right thing. When a candidate attempts to appeal to our basest instincts, he is not a true leader. He instead contributes to the denigration and disintegration of our society. The best defense against the rise of such dangerous elements is the better part of ourselves. Would we punch our neighbor because we disagree with his views? No, of course not. Would we demean a person because they follow a different faith? Or love someone we don't approve of? No, well you could fantasize about punching them out, but... Would know. we build a wall? You know, For the sake of our country, I hope not. If you want to sunbathe and skinny dip in your swimming pool, in the nude, you might want to build a tall wall, but I I know what they're getting at. I you know it just uh, it doesn't sound right. I mean, how would they how would they handle foreign policy if they they want to go around punching people out? I mean, it sounds like we would have World War Three in no time. You know, we still might not be able to avoid World War Three. U.S. District Court Judge Emmett G. Sullivan has allowed a conservative legal group to question top aides to former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton about whether she deliberately sought to thwart open records laws by using a private email server. This email subject is not going away. Even though Bernie Sanders said he didn't want to talk about it, it's not going away. When asked about it at the recent town hall meeting, <clears throat> Clinton was quick to put the blame on those conservatives, something that she's been doing since the 1990s. When Hillary Clinton was interviewed on NBC's The Today Show in 1998, she responded to Matt Lauer's question about the exact nature of the relationship between Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky's Lewinsky by saying, the great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy I remember that. <laughs> that has been conspiring against my husband since the day he announced for president. But as we all know, Bill Clinton was, in fact, having relations 
with Monica Lewinsky. So the vast right-wing conspiracy had nothing to do with creating that story. You know, there are women as of late that are coming forth claiming that Bill Clinton uh, Ooh, sex no. sexually Fuck would want him now. Sex? No, no, in the past. Oh. Sexually assaulted them. Uh, one woman, and I like think her last name is Wiley. She says, uh, "Oh, that's what you got. That's an old one." Wiley? Yeah. Oh no, no, they're not. They're not uh, incidences that took place uh, recently. Recently, no, no. Jennifer Flowers, Wiley, uh, well, Paula, they, 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 Paula, 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 whatever. Paul Jones. Paula. It was